Up next, having heard uh, our lecture on um, the development of formation of extra embryonic mycelium, we'll be having a different video on the parts of extra embryonic mycelium, all right? And the parts of the extra embryonic mycelium are quite simple, quite a simple one. That's the visceral layer of the extra embryonic mycelium and the parietal layer of the extra embryonic mycelium, okay? But there are some other things we'll be talking about them, okay? So that when you are asked to talk about the parts of the extra embryonic mycelium, you have all your facts intact. Now, the extra embryonic mycelium proliferates to line both the HUSAS membrane, that's, um, that is forming the uh, primary yolk sac, and it also lines the cytotrophoblast, which is forming the chorium. Okay? Now, the extra embryonic reticulum then breaks down and is replaced by a fluid field cavity that's the chorionic cavity right so uh, the chorionic cavity divides the extra embryonic mycelium into two parts all right those are the parts we'll be talking about all right so you can see this is uh the extra embryonic mycelium and um you can see how this is uh the cavity dividing the extra embryonic mycelium into two parts and from here, you can see that the parietal layer is the one inside. All right, but let's see what the lecture has for us. So we have the extra embryonic somatic or the somatopleuric or the parietal mixodem, okay? And this lines the inside of the cytotrophoblast, okay? And it covers the amnion and it forms the connecting stalk, okay? So now it's the innermost layer. It is the innermost layer of... Uh, the extra embryonic mycelium and it's ultimately coming here to form the connecting stalk. All right. And also, the coronic cavity divides the extra embryonic mycelium into the extra embryonic viscera or the splanchnopleuric mycelium. Okay. And this mycelium lines outside the yolk sac. Okay. It lines outside the yolk sac. That means it is a HUSAS membrane. All right. This is a HUSAS membrane. And it lines outside the yolk sac, okay? And this is a primary yolk sac inside, all right? So, guys, that's basically two parts of extra embryonic mycelium: uh, the somatopleuric, uh, the somatopleuric, and the splanchnopleuric mycelium, okay? Somatopleuric also known as the parietal, um, splanchnopleuric also known as the visceral layer, all right? So for you guys, maybe they'll hardly ask you this type of question in essay. Mostly they just ask you this type of question in MCQ, right? But it's good for you to actually know it and not cram, okay? So guys, that's it about the parts of extra embryonic mycelium. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.